We think of the Seattle area and Western Washington as really wet and rainy, which is true. You know, the challenge with climate change is future conditions are expected to be hotter, drier summers, which in my opinion is the biggest risk factor for our forests. So if that gets worse, then we're gonna start seeing more drought-related mortality. Are there ways we can work on our forests now to set them up to be successful now, but then also be more adaptive in, uh, in the future conditions? One action we're taking to anticipate the effects of climate change is sourcing seedlings better able to withstand the drier conditions. So we hired a professional planting crew to plant 21,000 trees, uh, conifer seedlings, across about 53 acres on five different parks. They know what species they have and they're looking for what we call microsites, you know, microsites where they think that individual seedling is gonna be more successful. You know, it could be as simple as whether to plant on the top of a little hill or you know, five feet away at the bottom of a little divot. Yeah, it can change the moisture profile. All the work that takes place in King County is on occupied and traditional lands of Coast Salish people. So the tribes and tribal communities who have lived in this region you know, since time immemorial were active stewards of the forest One of our priorities for, um, for a 30-year plan is working with tribes to learn more about their forest stewardship practices and values and uh, applying what they know about forests in a way that I don't think we have done a good job of it in the past. Clearcut logging took place throughout Western Washington, including you know, the majority of King County, to the point where it's really rare to find a functional patch of like truly old growth trees that are 150 years old or older. Most of the companies that were sponsoring the, the cutting were looking to produce wood and make money. And there just wasn't a consideration of, of the ecological impact. You know, the settlers that moved in into you know, this land that was traditionally Native American land just didn't have a frame of reference for appreciating the value of a functioning old forest. And we, we just saw dollar signs and two by fours. King County has a lot of what we call working forest land. They're producing two by fours and fiber for paper, these resources that people depend on. We want to be able to show private forest owners and other agencies ways to manage forest land for these multiple objectives. The trees we see today that we take for granted as forests don't look like the forests that were here before. So a lot of my work and other people working in restoration and forest ecology are working to shift these forests back towards these old forest characteristics.